I do think there's a, a good living in farming because the, there's that many folk in the world and, and there's only two things they have to have is food and water and that and uh, they can know about all these fancy things but you can't live without them two things and with all the, the folk and the, you, you've got to have that like without a doubt. But m best thing I like was looking after stock like that was the main thing. There's been a, a, a lot of real genuine folk in this day, like there has a, that I re respect and write like. Top end of this day will be the same as it was hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And a lot of them knew an awful lot about life and living in this dale and, and any, any community like this. And uh, trouble is nowadays there's that few locals left. There's all these folk from off and sees a different aspect to life and that's what's affecting the daily, my idea. I'm John Waggett, I'm 74 and I live in Milka now at Craig Home. Before that I was far farmed at Saturn all my life like. The family's been on uh, that farm ever since 1885. My great grandfather was uh, involved in lead mines, he was a surveyor and he uh, became unemployed, as you might say, with them. And uh, Clarkson's that owned, uh, that he worked for, that owned some of the mines of Gunnarsar Gill, had this farm to let, so he, he got a chance of it. And it's very nice that he's carrying on in the same family, like. Let's hope he's going to be there at 200 years, like. Did you always want to be a farmer and take over the farm? It's all the interest I ever had, like, yeah, yeah. And in farming, you never knew from one day to the next day what you were going to be doing. I like my dogs, I've had my dogs all my life, like, yeah. I've always uh, broken my own dogs in, and I did do a bit of sheep dog trailing when I was younger. I never won one, but I got a few seconds and thirds. That's one of the things that uh, it's your friend, because it, it's the only thing that, you, you know, many a day, you, you just spend your day with your dogs, like. The first thing is learn them to lie down and then uh, to, to learn the left and the right. Uh, for, for this doggy, uh, I'll put it onto the whistles right away and it's for the right hand and for the left hand. Uh, and then just a, another command to, for the dog to walk up like. A, a good dog only should really have four commands like, and that. Stop, start, left and right, uh, and that. It's, it, it isn't always easy to, to get it going. Most of them I always like to rear them from pups and then they uh, uh, get used to you like. Sometimes I, I've, I've had them, uh, bought them as yearlings, and that and it's had nothing to do, done with them and they take a lot more handling like. It's the same as kids, they want to know the commands from, uh, from birth nearly like. I can't, I can't stop your bed and, 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 and get up and do somewhat like, that is a certainty. Uh, I've been catching quite a few Maudis and that and uh, I'm doing quite a bit of walling like. These folk that just uh, 
uh, just finish like that, I don't know how they do it. Main thing about this is getting a good bottom into them, like. There's one there, it isn't good, but I can't move it anymore. It's really massive, is that one, like. <laughs> Mid 1800s, that was when it was enclosed. You see, they were all common pastures, same as Ivory Side and, and Gunnerside Pasture and Rowlith. But up this side, they allotted them and the, uh, uh, and the wall of mean. The old folk used to tell us for this job you wanted a, a C and E and an understanding ass. You wanted to be able to see what stone you wanted and know where it would sit, you see. That, that was the thing when we were younger. Frost and wind, them's the two things. And old age like, the same as out else. And same as this, we call it walling. If you go into Teisel, the gappen. And that's what we call a trough. A trough. Some areas they call them throws. But it, it bins them it all together. But what got me when I broke my leg, I was walling. And I was in hospital at Darlington measuring up and this young lass. It was hot and she went now how I'd done it and everything. And she just looked and she says, I bet you were putting them big throws on. That's what I miss most, is just having a few stock of your own, like, without a doubt. Because uh, it's just in your blood, and that's it. We didn't take plenty of notice and we didn't write plenty down. Uh, in our generations, these youngins maybe not take as much notice as, as that. They think uh, uh, they can do everything off computers, but it doesn't work like that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> but most thing that I, w I was always told in that, you had to breed the best stock you could. Because I was once told to be an old fella, ah! a good in doesn't yet on him more than a bad in. Well, all I'm going to do now is give them their, their cake or their profit, as we call it, uh, out there for them. Uh, and then they all get to so much as spread it well out, and, and then I'll give them their hair like. If you go out on the night, it's all tube talk, it pubs, isn't it? Particularly tube seals. If Jan makes a good price by the time they're finished with him, he's numbered them very middle in Jan and all. Well, a, a good swelled ale shape. He's not a big shape, but a well made shape of medium size and breadfruit hardiness of them. Yeah, well, th th this, this is what we call Dale's Meadow Hay that was made in last June and July uh, off the Dale's Meadows. And it's really sweet. And it, uh, it has all the natural goodness with all the herbs in. And that's what this hill shape should have like. I'll give them. The trouble with today, a lot of these sheep in winter time, they're all trucked away down onto better going and they lost the natural hillfidges uh, and uh, have been living on these, these hills and that's what is doing a lot of damage to the, the fell sheep. And there again, all these grouse men take all these sheep off where all these sheep should be and it uh, it's spoiling everything in these dales, and that's one of one of these things that the, these dales is going down for, because they're not allowed to farm them as the as they originally were. There was a lot of older folk when I was uh, at school. They were very proud of it. They never seen get dove. You probably know not know what get dove is, where well, they meant the sea which was a big dub, you see. 
now all the folk just go everywhere, don't they? Like, yeah. But you have seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> a lot of it, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we do go on holidays occasionally, yes. That is a certain thing, but once a year, yeah, yeah. But it's always nice to come home. To think what this is what I think, the, uh, there's all this modern lot on about, but it's our forebearers that's made this dale. Never mind National Park and them lot, they think they can run it, but they're not out like. It, uh, uh, all these walls that was put up and these fields made and everything. But when, when you've been here all your life, you maybe don't appreciate it. One thing which I will say, when I was young, there was quite a lot of older folks said, all us watch anybody that went to work in the Sunday suit. The longer I lived and more, and more true it is, that is a certainty. I've never had really any hobbies, Mitch, and uh, your life's been your work, and it's what it should. Instead of these going at eight o'clock in the morning and then waiting just for five to, to give hour, Many a day you work 12 hours, maybe 14 at times, like. It's both your life, your hobby, and, and everything else, like, yes, that is a certain thing. It, it, it is sad, really, like, yeah. Particularly if the sun's there. If you haven't sons, you haven't got it, like, and that. They don't all want to do it, that is a certain thing. Now, whether they'll enjoy their life as well, Farming in this dale, it, it's everything, like. It's your work, it's your hobby, and, and, and your entertainment, as you might say. <laughs>